Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, continuing to speak about the prospects for finding joy in the midst of sorrow and tribulation. And we took a little example from the prophet Jeremiah, the things he had to say in the book of Lamentations. And we took another from the life of David and something that he discovered in a very low point filled with suffering in, in his life. And I'd like to look today at probably the best single, barring Jesus, example of suffering in all the Bible, the book of Job. And I probably don't need to review this story as much. Every one of you knows Job lost everything. He lost it suddenly. And he lost it tragically. And he found himself without the wealth that he had accumulated and without his children whom he had loved and without his health and strength in which he had previously operated. And he found himself beset by friends who meant to help him but who didn't really understand his situation or what was going on. Abandoned by his society. Forced into an isolation that should be becoming a familiar concept to us. In the midst of all his suffering, Job said this, chapter 6, verse 10, in one of his first responses to ministry of his friends. But it is still my consolation, and I rejoice in unsparing pain that I have not denied the words of the Holy One. And this was Job's credit all through the book. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How shall we receive goodness from his hand and yet draw away when the hard times come? In all his unsparing pain, Job found this consolation. He did not deny the words of God. Well, I don't know how long or how deep our continuing pain will run. The losses, most tragically, the loss of life. And all of us will probably know someone who perishes. And some of us, myself speaking or you listening, may be among those who suffer or perish. But let this be said of us in the midst of it all and at the end of it all. Here is my consolation. I have not denied the word of God. Neither fear nor pain nor societal pressure nor anything else has driven me from the way of his word. And this will be consolation enough for us. And as the book of Job takes that sudden turning point at the end, it all is restored. So it will be for those who do not deny his word. In this life and in eternity, there will be a turning. And all will be made right. If you would pray with me. Father, give us the spirit of your servant Job who clung to your word in the midst of all his pain and knew that you had spoken truly. Help us to know that you have spoken truly and never to deny your word. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.